I want to start by going over some of the default gestures that you can do with your touchpad. You can physically press down on the touchpad to left click. But you can also just tap the touchpad anywhere with a single finger to left click as well. You can use two fingers together to scroll through windows and web pages. And while some of you might prefer to physically press the lower right corner of the touchpad to right click, you can also right click by tapping anywhere with two fingers. If you swipe left and right with three fingers, you can move between open apps. And if you swipe up with three fingers, you can open the multitasking view. Swipe down with three fingers to close it. And tapping with three fingers will open the search window. If you swipe left and right with four fingers, you can move between different desktops that you have created. And if you tap with four fingers, you can open the Notification Center. A lot of this can be customized to your liking. If you open the Start menu, go to Settings, go to Devices, and click Touchpad in the left-hand column, you'll see a number of options that you can tweak. Right at the top, you can turn the touchpad off and on. And there's also an option to disable the touchpad when you connect a mouse. You can also change the speed that the cursor moves, and change the sensitivity of the touchpad. Below that, you can enable and disable a few of the tapping gestures, and also disable pressing the lower right corner of the touchpad to right click. Below that, you can disable or enable dragging with two fingers to scroll and also change the direction of the swipe. Some apps also support pinch to zoom, similar to on a touchscreen, which you can enable or disable here. Below this, you can customize what three finger gestures do by selecting the dropdown. And you can also do the same for when you tap with three fingers. Below that, you have the same options for four finger gestures and the four finger tap. And if you ever make changes and want to go back to the defaults, you can reset all of these options by clicking Reset at the bottom of the page. If you have any other questions, you can always visit the Acer community or our Acer support site.